So before this video gets started, I just want to address that 93.3% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you can do that, it's free and you guys would be helping me out a ton. All right, now let's get into the video. What is up guys? This is Zenit Cobbler. You guys probably can't see me too much right now because it's still kind of dark out. But I'm about to swim out. See, see the light on the horizon. And yeah, hopefully this first light pays off out in the blue today. All right, stay All tuned. All right, guys, so we're about to hop in. The tide is about to peak in about an hour and a half. So wish me luck, guys. All right. After swimming a mile and a half offshore, Unfortunately, one of my bands popped, and for all you divers, you guys just know this is the worst feeling in the world when one of your bands pop. But I persevered for about an hour, hour and a half, and ran into a nice school of Onos. So I'm gonna break down in this clip exactly what's going on. So I can see the Onos in the distance, and I'm actually using a drop, a drop bait, which essentially is when you drop a fish and yeah, it attracts larger predators sometimes. And in this case, it worked out perfectly with the Onos. So I can see them in the distance. I'm just trying my best not to make eye contact. And right now I'm just dropping down to my spoon flashers. And you can see that drop bait right there. It's a smaller Uhu. It's kind of similar to a Pananu in Hawaii. You can see the Onos coming in, but me knowing that I have that single band, I know that I'm not in range. So I'm just waiting out, waiting for that perfect opportunity. The Onos are actually leaving right now, so I was getting kind of worried that I wouldn't get a shot off. And right here when I hit the surface, I throw that fish all the way down the... And yeah, you can see that Ono on the left actually coming in to check out the fish. But on this attempt, I didn't quite peak its interest just yet. See, there's Onos everywhere. I swear, in this school there's probably eight or nine. And yeah, I was just really hoping to get one off of this school. So yeah, I'm just retrieving that bait. And yeah, just basically playing cat and mouse with these Onos. Okay, so once I hit the surface this time, I beam it again. This time I threw it a bit farther. And I can see this Ono way off in the distance, just going, making a straight line for that bait. Although I don't think on this pass is when I get the shot. And yeah, I just try my best not to swim at the fish, but actually swim parallel with the fish. And you guys will see in these clips that I actually don't take the shot here right now, even though it is well in range. Actually, maybe not for the single bang. So right here, I thought that it was all over and I wouldn't get a shot off on these Onos. So I'm just retrieving my bait, and then in a one last ditch attempt, let's see what I do right now. I can see that big Ono off in the distance. And yeah, I saw that it was swimming to the right and away from me. So what I do, I beam the fish again, right in front of it. And the fish could have not landed any more perfect. This piques the Ono's interest, and just watch what happens, guys.
freaking slob, boys. Got the piggy off the back. Give bless. Amen. So if you look closely, you can see the spine of the fish right here, and that's actually where the shaft hit, and it broke the spine, so I didn't stone the fish, but I spined it actually. Alright, time for the other side. Alright, so I just finished filleting the fish, so now it's time to bag up all the fillets and then put it in the refrigerator. Alright, stay tuned. What is up guys on today's episode of Cooking with Zed. Today we are going to be making seared Ono. Just look at that guys. It is looking absolutely amazing. We're going to put some butter on the pan and get this going. Let's go. So we just skinned the Ono and now we're left with these pieces. I'm going to cut these into, I'd say about an inch thick slabs and then we'll throw it up on the pan guys. All right, so today we're gonna be cooking the fish in some butter and shoyu. As shown, very simple, very easy, and absolutely delicious. All right, so now we're just gonna sear the ono quickly in some butter with the shoyu as well. And when you're searing fish, you actually only cook it halfway through. That way the inside is still raw. And it leaves this fresh texture in your mouth and just tastes amazing, guys. So I'll give this about 10 seconds on the first side and then about 15 on the other and it should be all done. All right, so if you look closely, you can see how the fish is cooked only halfway through. That's perfect, guys. Mm. So good. All right, so that's how you make seared ono. An easy and simple way. Show you butter and your fillets of choice. Works with all types of fish, guys. So don't be afraid to try it and then tag me.